Hi, welcome to another Wattel tutorial. In this session we are going to show you how to work with WhatsApp templates and the uses you can make for them. Get your Wattel account ready and let's begin. The WhatsApp templates are a type of message that are exclusive to WhatsApp business platform. If one user hasn't replied to the message for more than 24 hours, the only way to contact them is through a WhatsApp template. There are two important requirements. One, the user has to opt into this type of messages and two, the templates must be approved by WhatsApp. We recommend you to be cautious with the number of messages you send. The opinion of the customers can affect the quality of your number and WhatsApp may penalize you. In order to proceed with the creation of your first WhatsApp template, you must have your WhatsApp number deployed and create a WhatsApp channel. If you have any doubt about any of these processes, we have linked in our bio the two tutorials. Go to Platform and Message Template. Select the option Create and begin the configuration of the template. Name it without any blank spaces or capitalization. Pick the category that best suits your template among the options that WhatsApp offers. In language, you can select and configure the languages you want for your template. The message is comprised of header, body, footer and buttons. The only field that is compulsory to fill is the body. The header shows the text in bolding letters. You can add an image, document or video in this section. For WhatsApp to approve the message, you have to add a sample for them to review the content you're going to use in the template. The body displays the message just in the same format as any other WhatsApp message. In this example, we are working with a reservation template, and thus we want to personalize the message for every customer we send the template. Creating a WhatsApp template for each of them will be a waste of time, and that's why we have made the text dynamic. The brackets in the body indicate the platform that this is a variable that you will change for each customer. Just as with multimedia messages, you have to add a sample for WhatsApp to approve. The footer text appears as a little PSA in a grey color. Be aware of the limit of characters. Lastly, we have the buttons. They are a great way to make the template interactive. There are two types of buttons. We configure the text in the selected language and choose either the call to action or quick reply. We work with the call to action buttons if we want to redirect the user to an external site and the quick replies to trigger a response. So you will want to pick a call to action if you want to redirect to a website or to call a phone number. Configure the text that the button will show and the URL of the web page. You can add up to three buttons and configure the text that the button will show. You can use this type of buttons when you want the chatbot to perform an action after the customer selects it. Once everything is ready, you just have to click on Submit and wait until WhatsApp approves the template. Once the template is approved, you can use it in the chat builder as a WhatsApp response in the chatbot flow. The other main use is to use it in the push panel to send a message. We hope you found the tutorial useful and you learned the potential of WhatsApp templates. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you in the next one.